I was shamed into helping the unborn after 12 years of silence in 1986. Since then, my only client has been the unborn. I don't work for a movement. I don't work for a party. I don't work for candidates. I work for the unborn. And I don't give a flying flick about what people want to do on paper with bylaws and all that kind of stuff because it's just like the Pharisees who had all the rules about the Sabbath but they didn't know that the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. I will stand for the unborn and I will not relent. I don't know Mr. Clymer but Howard Phillips has lost all of my respect because he stands for people who want to kill one only one innocent child, and that's all that counts. If you want one innocent child, go with this man. But I'll tell you what, I've got my paperwork filled out. All it lacks is my signature and my wife's signature, and we're the hell out of here if you vote to stay with a national party that will put up with one dead baby, much less many thousands of dead babies. And you, sir, need to repent because the blood will be on your hands when you stand before God. You won't be able to argue about procedural votes and keeping the party together before God. You'll be standing there quaking in your boots wishing you washed yourself in the blood of the Lamb. That's all I've got to say.